Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. Uh, this is the third video in uh, Microsoft Certified Associate uh, playlist. So uh, we have completed 12 questions so far, and uh, now we are going to uh, take the question number 13. Question number 13 is your company has an Azure subscription that includes a storage account, a resource group, a blog container, and file share. A colleague named John Ross Max use of solitary Azure resource manager means Azure template to deploy a virtual machine and additional Azure storage accounts. You want to review the ARM template was used by this one. So uh, any ARM template being used um, by anyone on Azure uh, uh, can we see the history of that? This is what the question is. So solution has given here like you access the container blade. In that case, the container blade uh, is not having any information related to template. So answer is incorrect in this case. And uh, the the information uh, is available on resource group blade, not in the container head. So here, if the answer is resource group blade, then this is the correct answer. Otherwise, it's going to be a wrong answer. Let's move to the next question. Question number fourteen. Your company has three virtual machines that are included in an availability set. Okay. You try to resize one of the virtual machine which returns a location failure message. This is the failure message. It is imperative that the VM is resized. Which of the following action you should you take? Okay, so here we do have uh, three virtual machines uh, in one availability set, and we need to see that um, which action we can take on that. So uh, first of all, let's go through the options available with us. Uh, A is you should only stop one of the virtual machines. And B is you should stop two of the VMs. And you should stop all three VMs. You should remove the necessary VM from availability set. So what should we do? Now first we uh, let's understand that we want to resize so here it's given that we want to resize the virtual machines and uh, uh, if the virtual machine uh, we want to resize that is part of availability set then uh, we have to stop all the virtual machines in availability set before changing the size of any virtual machine uh, the reason is given that uh, the availability set must be stopped before performing the resize operation to size that requires different hardware is that all running VMs in the availability set must be using the same physical hardware in the cluster. So that's the reason that we have to step, uh, stop all the virtual machines in availability set. So uh, in uh, exam perspective, we have to keep in mind that whenever we have question along with the you know or with the availability set. So we have to keep in mind that all the VMs size is same in uh, available set. So we'll, if we make, we make any change, we need to stop all the VM and then start it again. So uh, the question uh, answer or option C is correct answer in this case. Okay, let's move to next question. So uh, before we move to next question, uh, I would like to clarify some definitions, important definitions which are being used in this uh, question. Uh, so it will be clear for the audience who are not having any idea of the availability set, etc. So uh, let's go through that. So uh, mostly whenever we uh, speak about availability set in Azure, uh, it always comes like uh, three term terminologies or definitions always come together. Uh, availability set, uh, fault domain, and update domain. So let's understand one by one. So what is availability set in this case? Uh, availability set are uh, logical grouping of virtual machines. So that's the one group of virtual machines that reduce the chance of correlated failure, bringing down related virtual machine at the same time. 
So uh, availability set is a logical grouping of VMs. This we have to keep in mind. There is a logical grouping, no physical grouping. Uh, just to uh, uh, reduce the chance of correlated failure, bringing down related VM at the same time. Uh, now the next terminology will be used is uh, uh, fault domain. So what is the fault domain? Fault domain, the group of virtual machines that share uh, a common power source. So all the VMs will have common power source and the network switch. So we have to keep these two things in mind that in the uh, fault domain uh, we have common power supply and the network switch. So uh, if uh, any in any particular fault domain if that is going down due to maybe net, network switch or the power supply these uh, VMs in that uh, fault domain will all go down. So by default the virtual machines configured within a availability set are separated across up to three fault domains. So uh, always whenever we have availability set uh, virtual machines um, uh, are divided or separated in three fault domains. So let's say for example F1 is one fault domain, another one is F2 for example and another one is F3. So at least one one VM would remain under them and if the fault domain one has any problem still we do have uh, fault domain two and fault domain three in place to make sure that uh, uh, the VMs are available and services are working. So that's the uh, uh, relation between availability set and fault domain. Now the third terminology we, we are going to face or see again and again is update domain. The group of virtual machines, so uh, update domains are group of virtual machines um, and underlying physical hardware. So uh, the, the machines and hardware, so uh, VM as well as underlying hard, physical hardware means the nodes of uh, where the virtual machines are running that can be rebooted at the same time for any maintenance activities, mostly for the update, uh, update activity etc. where we do need uh, uh, restart of the virtual machines and physical hardware. Um, these all are under uh, one update domain. So, uh, like for example, if you are conducting any uh, driver update or uh, of underlying platform or page update, etc., these all uh, VMs under the same update domain would go down. Uh, that's for basic understanding. So, uh, update domain by name is suggest that is. Uh, all the VMs are uh, going to be updated at the same time or going to go down due to the update or upload will be performed together and the fault domain is like uh, only the uh, common power source and network switch these two things we have to keep in mind availability seat, uh, set is a logical grouping of VMs and uh, to reduce the failure of these uh, uh, virtual machines okay now we will go to the next screen in this diagram, uh, I am trying to explain that uh, how the fault domains are uh, uh, organized. Let's say, for example, uh, fault domain uh, zero uh, are having virtual machines. For example, VM one and VM four are there, and uh, so this is the one hardware rack uh, having uh, common supplies, etc. Everything in, like, in network switch where it is connected. Let's say, and this is connected by power supply and this is connected by the same network switch. If that switch goes down, uh, all the VM under this uh, rake will go down. So uh, VM1 and VM4 are under uh, the same uh, fault domain. Uh, similarly, uh, fault domain 1 is having uh, VM2 and VM5. So these both are lying under and uh, definitely it's having its own power supply and then it's having its own network uh, connection on that rack. So anything let's say power supply or network goes down, uh, the VM5 and VM2 will go down together. Uh, again, like the third one is like for domain 2, we have uh, VM3 and VM6 together. So uh, again, uh, this rack have uh, power supply and uh, uh, network switch and anything one of these things if goes down then both the main will get affected now here uh, we have ud means update uh, domain update domain uh, so uh, there is update domain grooming uh, grouping so if you see update domain one is there uh, 
update domain one is here as well. So both both uh, the update will occur at same time. Uh, so and this both VM will have the same impact. And again, uh, update domain two here and uh, so if anything uh, for update domain two is happening, update domain two uh, wherever update domain two is on uh, for domain, it will be impacted together. Uh, similarly, again, uh, update domain 3 is there, update domain 4 is there, and 5 is there. So, this is how these are distributed, uh, and this is a just logical diagram of that. Uh, let's move to next screen. So, in this screen, we are trying to understand um, availability set. So, availability set is uh, going to be in single region. And uh, available, under the availability set, we do have multiple virtual machines, and each virtual machine belongs to um, uh, different different four domains. Means uh, uh, four domain is having their own uh, power supply and network switch. So uh, at least one virtual machine is lying in four domain zero, second one is lying in four domain one, and the third one is lying in four domain two. So uh, making sure that uh, all all of the VMs are not going down together, so they are distributed in different different four domains. Uh, same way, the storage uh, cluster as well uh, is you know uh, are in the same four domain respective four domains. So in this video, we have covered question number thirteen and fourteen, and I think this video. Uh, Long, long uh, due to explanation in the question answers uh, and the concept of uh, the four domain uh, availability set and uh, update domain. Uh, I think uh, the, uh, I, I, I think this video was informative for you and uh, uh, please like, subscribe, and share the uh, and put your comment if you uh, have any concern or think any advice uh, regarding that and also. You can uh, press the bell notification uh, icon uh, to receive uh, the notification. Uh, thank you very much and see you in the next video. Thank you.